year I'm going to Disney World. It has been two years since my last Disney World trip and 15 months since I booked this and I cannot believe the day has finally arrived. So let's head to Disney. The bags are packed and I am ready to set off to go to Heathrow. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Sophie from Most Magical Guides and I make videos packed full of tips and advice to help you visit the Disney parks like a pro, helping you to maximize magic by mastering the planning. And I also do vlogs of my own solo and adult trips. So thank you for joining me and I cannot wait. Since my last trip, there's been lots of new things that have opened. A lot of things were still being built whilst I was there in 2022. Cannot wait to go on Tron. I feel like Tron's old news now. It's been open for ages, but I have not got to experience that. Gonna go see the Walt statue, Tiana's Bayou Adventure, but also because of D23, we found out lots of new things are gonna be happening in the parks in the next couple of years. So it's gonna be my chance to ride some things for the final time. So I cannot wait to go. So I have my little packing list here and everything is ready apart from my phone and charger so that is the last thing I'm going to put in my bag but we're ready to go. In the days leading up I have been checking and rechecking the case. I check everything off the list so I know it's in there. I'm like Santa. I'm like checking it once, I'm checking it twice. I'm checking it four times. More thorough than Santa. <laughs> but it's that thing of just like dreading oh my god have I left something behind. Although you know they sell everything in America. I wouldn't be in an issue. It wouldn't be an issue. We'd be absolutely fine. <laughs> uh, just to be safe, I've gone through the list, but all packed, all ready to go. But must remember the phone. Probably the most important thing. But before we head off, we've got to do the most important thing. And that is say goodbye to the cats. The worst part of the trip. Kittens. Mummy's about to go to America to see Mickey Mouse. I'm going to go see a big mouse. Don't get angry. I know he's your mortal enemy. But this is a fun mouse. So I have two cases with me because I'm flying premium economy and they are both included. And last time I had two cases and I thought, oh, I'll do a little roll on case for the cabin. Three cases, one person, never have more cases than arms. It was a disaster, it was awful. <laughs> so this time I've gone for a little like hold all type bag. I'm sticking it across my shoulder. I haven't even left the house and I know at some point this is gonna irritate me. So let's <laughs> strap in because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be lopsided later today. <laughs> So I have now arrived at Terminal 3, ready for my Virgin Atlantic flight. This time I've done a bit of different parking. I've done a meet and greet service, just because it was the cheapest, which is weird, because that's normally much more expensive. But it's very, very easy to do. Just went to the short stay car park, took the ticket, gave it to the man who was waiting. Easy, so let's get inside, drop these big bags off, and head into the airport. Actually really really simple to get through security just a few minutes wait the virgin desk walked straight up which is fantastic so now i'm gonna head through and maybe find some food but also have a lot on the ground so i think terminal 3 is actually quite a small terminal there's not lots and lots here but there is a lot of seating um it is quite busy and there's kind of no natural light which is interesting so because you can't see outside i think you could very easily lose a lot of time because you're just like oh nothing kind of changing outside but I am gonna go grab some lunch now. If you've seen any of my vlogs here before, you know I'm obsessed with Wagwanders. So it's gonna have to be done. So it's gonna be Waggers for lunch. So Wagamama's never disappoints. I go to Wagamama so much that as long as I keep going there, I don't think they can ever go out of business. <laughs> really, I should buy shares and then just, you know, pay myself back. But always love to start a trip with Wagamama's. It feels like a proper start to the trip because it's a tradition now. <laughs> but I might have a little walk around. I've still got a lot of hours. I got here quite early. But I might just have a little walk because it is a long flight. Get some steps in. And um, something I will do is get some drinks for on the plane, but mostly for when I land because it's going to be arriving quite late. It's 7.30 at night we arrive. Got to get a car, get to the hotel. So I've got some drinks on me. Don't have to be worrying about getting to a shop tonight. So 
so I found somewhere to have a little sit down. There's a few hours still until the flight. I never really know what to do in airports, particularly this one. A lot of the shops are more like the high end, like Chanel, Dior type shops, which I don't really shop in. So I'm like, okay, I'll just sit down. I have got my Kindle with me, so I could do some reading. Um, I've packed it, so I might as well use it because I always do this. It's been all around the world, never gets used. <laughs> so maybe today is the one but this is going to be a solo trip two weeks which i'm so excited for i love solo trips to disney i actually think they're the perfect destination if you've never done a solo trip before because they're very very safe there's so much to do that you never have time to think about being on your own and who doesn't love disney you just have the best most amazing time so i cannot wait to get back and hiring a car doing all of the things that i've done before staying at the same resort down sort of solo trips they are very expensive to disney world specifically um but it swings and roundabouts there's other areas where you can save a bit of money so you know you can make it work so if you've ever thought about doing a solo trip i would highly highly recommend it because it is amazing and uh, i just can't wait to get there I, I always think it's funny like you wake up in your bed at home in England and tonight I'll be sleeping in a Disney bed. So every time I sit down somewhere someone sits next to me and they start coughing and they start sneezing and I'm like Pac-Man running around this little airport trying to escape all of the people who have germs and potentially going to kill me. <laughs> so I'm just taking a little wander now. I've got about an hour until they call the gate so trying to fill the time if you have any tips of what you would do to fill this one do let me know i do think this is where airport lounges can be really really good because they are just a relaxed setting you normally have food and drink included so that could be quite nice because it is quite busy and hectic but um just got to bide our time and very soon we'll be on the plane so for this trip i'm also using a new camera i now have the dji pocket three so i think it should look a bit different to before i've also got a little mic now which is very exciting <laughs> so maybe the audio will be a bit better i'm hoping but um i've been playing around with the camera and it's uh, amazing so i just cannot wait to get to disney because i think it's going to look so stunning and there's so many amazing shots you can get so hopefully uh we'll have some in this uh vlog series <laughs> but yeah i'm waffling because there's not much else to do in the airport at the moment because uh I'm not shopping in Hermes. <laughs> I haven't got that sort of budget, but I just want to get on the plane by this point. I always find travel days interesting because, to me, when I was a kid, like the travel day was such an exciting part of the holiday. Whereas now I'm just like, it's the bit I have to get through to get to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's just because it's a lot of waiting around, sitting around. But I think once you're on the plane and you've taken off, that's when the holiday feels like it's properly begun because you're like, I'm on my way now. I'm on my way. I'm leaving. Tonight I'm going to be sleeping in my Disney bed. <laughs> it's going to be so good. I'm just really excited also about unpacking. That's a weird thing. I don't normally get excited about that. But just like settling into your room, planning your outfits, like so excited so the gate has been called a bit early i thought i'd just get up and have a little walk around and uh turns out we go to the gate now so i'm gonna head there and um, i always like to see the name of the plane because i am flying with virgin they always have the different fun names so very excited to see which plane we're going to be on today We are now on the plane. I was so shocked because we actually got called to the gate early. Got to the gate, took a sneaky photo of the plane, went to the bathroom, and we were already boarding by the time I came back. It's been super, super quick, so I think we're going to take off exactly on time, which means we're going to be in Florida much quicker. It's actually predicted to only take just over eight hours, um, and they said it was going to take nine on my document, so it's going to be absolutely incredible that we're going to be there soon. We 
haven't been up in the air long at all and we've had our first snack and the great thing is it's these little like nibbly barbecue things but they are vegan and they're also gluten free so I really really like how Virgin do this where a lot of their snacks are suitable for everyone even if you've got dietary requirements so gonna enjoy these and start watching um, A Quiet Place Day 1 because I'm going to Halloween Horror Nights first time and a quiet place has a house so I'm getting into it I haven't seen it yet. So my vegan meal has come out and there's lots and lots that you choose from. You have um, a bread roll, you also have some oat cakes and some sunflower spread. You have some like crudite with hummus, a little chickpea and quinoa salad and then a butternut squash vegan biryani so it looks really nice. So I have just had my meal and it was really really good. The salad was amazing. I I don't know what the dressing was very very good lots of other like fresh greens in it very tasty the curry was also very good i would say it was probably two out of ten on the heat scale so not spicy but a little bit of spice which is the one downside if you have a dietary request you obviously get one meal one choice um, if it's something you don't like you don't have anything to eat so i always bring snacks with me just in case uh, the only thing i haven't tried is like the crude taste because they looked a little bit dried out uh, but I also love, haven't had my dessert yet, but to get like a proper dessert, like a chocolate pot, is amazing. And of course, because I'm flying virgin, you have the iconic little salt and pepper shakers. Um, I thought these were only in upper class, so on my last Disney World trip, I did a bid. And I won, and I got to fly upper class out, which was incredible. And I have done a video all about the bid system, if you want to know how you can do it. But I thought this was only exclusive to them, so I'm really excited that in... Um, premium you also get the little salt pepper shakers they used to be metal but they've changed them to plastic now because so many people kept taking them so now you are actually allowed to just take them <laughs> so we have just over two hours left to go it's been a really nice flight really really smooth i haven't done premium economy since pre-pandemic so it's been over five years so it's nice to have the experience again having that little bit of extra room makes such a difference you're so much more comfortable and last year when i flew to la to go to disneyland i did economy because i got really really cheap seats and then actually going out it wasn't bad but coming back i was like i don't know if i could do economy long haul again and then doing this i'm like it has to be premium or more because my last florida trip i got to do the upper class experience and that is like next level incredible like that's worlds away it's amazing but yeah i definitely think this is worth the upgrade and um the fact that you also get the two cases which i definitely needed because uh i have brought a lot of things and i'm gonna buy a lot of things most likely but yeah the flight has been very very good i've watched a few films watched the tv had a little nap although i am starting to feel tired now but i think we're gonna get a little snack meal soon so that will be waking me back up and um once you get in orlando it's so exciting that you suddenly get like a second wave of energy so i'm very much looking forward to that Now arrived, I'm in MCO in this iconic part of the building. I couldn't really film until this point because security, you can't obviously film at all. And then where I've got two cases, and this is a carpeted airport, although it's an iconic uh, uh, carpet, you can't roll two cases and film. But it was super simple to get through security. I actually was going to try the new app you can use. So I'd signed up, did everything I needed to do, and then when I got to go through security, there were two people in front of me, there was no queue. And then I waited a few minutes for the bags. It's absolutely perfect. I can already feel the humidity. It's about half seven at night here and it's already this hot. So it's, I love when you first arrive and you know you've arrived when you feel the humidity. So now I'm gonna go and have a find of the Hertz car rental space. That's where I've got my car rental this time. So uh, let's go find them. And I'm also gonna show you something that I'm gonna collect from the car rental area. That's gonna save me a lot of money.
So when I was back home in the UK, I downloaded the Visitor Toll Pass app. I used this on my last trip, it was fantastic. It cost me hardly nothing. I've paid like less than $5 for the tolls because you save up to 80% with this. So I would absolutely recommend getting it. So I'm just gonna scan my QR code now, pick it up and then hang it in the car. So I've made it over to the car park. Interestingly, last time Hertz, it was just, this is the row you go to pick any car, whereas now they give you like a designated number. So I've found my car, which I'll show you in a second. The heat, very, very hot. I've had that moment where you step out and you're like, oh. So being inside an oven, and I'm sorry I haven't been able to film more, but just with these cases, it is not possible. <laughs> but I'll show you the car. So I just ordered the cheapest car, an economy car, and this kind of looks a bit like a sports car. Um, I'm, you normally end up with an SUV, because normally they will sell out of smaller cars before the, you know, this time of night, it's about 8pm now. But um, this is very sporty, very interesting. So, as you can probably see, I'm a sweaty mess, and it's been a bit of a nightmare if I'm honest. Hertz was a disaster, so I think in the last couple I showed you the kind of like sportish car they'd given me. But the problem with it was when I got in the car, I needed to move the seat forward. But in this car, the seat, if you bring it forward, also goes up. There's no option for it just to go forward. So by the time I got to a point where I could reach the pedals, because I'm very short, there was no space for your legs to fit in because the seat was right up against <laughs> the steering wheel. So I had to go back, say, this car isn't going to work, can you swap it? Swapped to a second car, got everything from the first car, dragged it over, put it in the second car, and then that one, the fob wasn't working. So I had to go back, switch it to another car, take all of my stuff. It's really difficult because I'm on a solo trip. There's no one to help me with my luggage. Eventually they've given me um, the same make and model as the second car, but it's a brand new car. So when you got in, you had the brand new smell, which was good. And then I've got to the hotel because I'd already checked in online. Um, they're like, you go straight to your room. Had a bit of trouble finding the room because it's, you know, there's all these different blocks, different numbers, but got there in the end. And then they were like, oh, just use your phone to open the door. Does it work? Absolutely not. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I cannot take all of this luggage back to the car and drive to reception, I can't. Luckily, my magic van that I got in 2018, I brought with me just in case it still works and it does. So I'm in. <laughs> finally made it i'm not in the, the like most joyous of moods because it's been so stressful i spent over an hour at hertz it was just an absolute nightmare but i'm here now the holiday is starting i can relax got my little name on the telly which is very exciting and it's so nice to be back in these rooms like i stayed at this resort last time and what was fun is last time i was in the rock section and the two types of music I listen to most are rock music and certain tracks from musicals and this time I'm in the Broadway section so I was like this is perfect and um these rooms are perfect if you're a solo traveler it's got absolutely everything you need so I am going to start unpacking now it's now gone 10 p.m I was expecting to get here about half eight <laughs> and um hasn't worked out that way so I'm going to start unpacking I've got an early start tomorrow Gonna be your first date in the park, but I'm starting off with a breakfast, so I'm very excited for that. Also gonna try and get a Tron virtual queue. I've never got a virtual queue before, and tomorrow is the last day that Tron has a virtual queue. It's then switching to standby. So I've got everything crossed that I'll be able to get that, but let's start unpacking. So I've basically done the bare minimum amount of unpacking that I could get away with because it's now like 11 o'clock. I've got to get up about half five tomorrow because I've got such an early start, so. I've got the stuff I need for tomorrow. I'll just worry about the rest tomorrow morning. I hope that maybe because I've had a late night, I will be able to sleep until my alarm. And it won't be one of these, you know, wake up at 3am with jet lag jobbies. <laughs> it won't be that. So uh, that will be amazing. But yes, thank you for joining me on this um, travel day. I'm so sorry parts of it I couldn't show you because um, I had too many cases, so I couldn't roll and film. And then the hurt situation, I was like, a streaming river of mess <laughs> it was just not one so from now on the vlogs are gonna be full-on Disney it's gonna be so exciting I cannot wait to be back in Magic Kingdom tomorrow it's absolutely wild I always start my trip in Magic Kingdom so I'm not gonna break tradition for this trip and I can't wait but 
I'm going to wish you well for tonight and say ta ta for now. But thank you so much for joining me once again and get ready for all the magic because it's coming. But thank you so much for watching and until next time, I hope you have a most magical day. Bye bye.